this season was completely unprecedented. Everything that you thought you knew was going to happen hasn't gone at all the way that you planned. How have you kept the positive mindset, though, to keep going and saying, these things are something I can't control, this is what I can control? Um, I, mean, I think that's just the nature of it. You know, I think as, as being an athlete, there's a lot, you know, that comes and goes that, you know, you may not be able to control. And especially in the game of baseball, that there are a lot of ups and downs. It's a long season. There's a lot of things you have to adjust to. You kind of get used to always being in a position to make an adjustment. Um, so once you kind of had that mindset, you know, I don't think that changes whether you're in the off season or in season or, you know, if a pandemic happens, you, you know, you just, you just keep adjusting and then keep doing what you can. So you described this period as kind of an extended off season. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing to stay healthy and keep your body ready? Um, I think just getting on any kind of routine uh, is the biggest thing, you know, in the season, being a starting pitcher, you're pitching every fifth day, bullpens in between, it's just a very, very regimented schedule. So for me, I tried to replicate that as much as I could, um, all the way from workouts to throwing to um, full on live BP. So um, there's a lot of different things that go into it, but I think for me, it's just getting in that routine. This is what my body's used to doing this time of year. So the closest that I can stay to that, um, I think it's the best that I can stay ready. Clearly you're in Houston right now, mm -hmm. but you, stayed in Florida for a period of time after spring training officially closed. And you got to hang out with a lot of your former teammates and guys not only in minor league, but also at UVA. Mm -hmm. What was that like to be able to train with them, guys that you haven't really probably trained with in a while? It was really cool. Um, I think what we were able to do, you know, when they first shut it down, they said, hey, it'll be about two weeks and then everybody will be back. And here we are now in August and, you know, nothing ever went back. So. Um, it was really cool to be able to get with those guys um, and, and really kind of like we talked about adjust to make the most of what we could, um, especially with all the gyms closed, places that most guys go to throw or work out closed. So we kind of had to make do. Um, you know, at, when I was with Daniel Zamora, fortunately he lives on some land. He has a home gym, so we were able to throw, work out, kind of do everything there. But then also we went and got a cage off Facebook Marketplace, put it up in his front yard, and you know, guys started doing live VPs and stuff in there. So yet again, it's just a game of adjustments, doing what you can and, and kind of just rolling with it. What is one thing that you think you'll take away most from this unusual circumstance? I think just, you know, kind of like we've talked about, just the ability to adjust and adapt and know that, you know, no, no matter what happens, you can stay ready. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that could happen and there's a lot of things that people never plan for that do happen. So just knowing that, you know, this is a, just more experience of staying ready and having to adjust, you know, schedules, whatever it may be that, you know, and, and in the end, it's all going to come down to what you can do and, and just mentally how you can prepare. And speaking of mentally preparing, you were getting ready, talking about the seasons coming back, and then you find out you're not going to be one of the guys that gets to go to Altoona or Pittsburgh. How have you kept a positive mindset and that tenacity that I'm not giving up, you know, at any moment they could call me and I could have that opportunity? Uh, I mean, yet again, it goes back to everything we've been talking about. Um, you know, it's as a baseball player, it's in my nature to play baseball. And so whether that is organized during a season or in the off season, you know, especially if you take some time off, you've always got that itch to get back out there. So um, it wasn't really a question for me of, you know, do I keep throwing? Do I shut down? How do I approach this? Um, from the get-go, it was kind of, hey, let's just make this, you know, as season-like as we can. Because um, at the end of the day, when next year rolls around and everything goes back to normal, hopefully, um, you're going to be expected to have a workload that you can build off of from the year before. So I think if, if you shut down in a time like this, you know, it really hinders yourself going into the next year. And that's something that you know, I'm sure a lot of guys thought about and a lot of teams definitely thought about in, in the communication of, you know, this is the program we want you to go with or here's how we think we can best address it. And it's obviously an experiment and a little bit of a guessing game and a little back and forth. But um, at the end of the day, everybody wants to play baseball. So um, for me, it was pretty simple. Just keep going and playing baseball. What has it been like for you to be home 
and we've got a full house. I'm unemployed, you're not unemployed, but you're not playing organized mm -hmm. baseball. What has that been like for you to come home and to kind of have multiple people to work around? Um, I mean, I guess it's a little different in a sense that I'm used to strictly being on a baseball routine right now of everything revolves around that. You know, everything revolves around going to the field, it's sure you have time to grab meals here and there, or go out and get breakfast or lunch or whatever it may be. But outside of that, it's really sleep, eat, go to the field, eat, you know, come back and go to sleep and do it all over again. So um, the routine has been a little different. Um, trying to find what works best, facilities to go throw, facilities to work out with, hitters to face. Um, you know, a lot of that's been different and, it, and it's been a challenge at times, but um, I think for me, it hasn't really been that much of a change, especially you go, you know, I'm, I'm here in the off seasons. Um, you're normally not, but um, that's not much of an adjustment. So it's, it's been fun. And speaking of finding places to go throw and live batters, what has that been like for you? You've met a lot of different guys mm -hmm. out here that maybe you, your paths never would have crossed had it not been for this pandemic. Yeah, I mean, I think it's been cool, you know, because not only I have to adjust, but everyone does. So everyone's looking for a place. Everyone's trying to set up, you know, different ways to throw, different places to throw at, different hitters to face. And you have all these different schedules trying to come together. Um, so it's been fun. You know, like you said, I got to meet a lot of new guys that, you know, some are still in affiliated ball, some aren't. Um, met some college guys that, you know, are, are striving to get there. So um, it's just been a good experience. Um, you know, I've, I've been thankful to have people open their doors for me. And, um, you know, at 3K Sports, being able to throw every day and, and, and going in there and working out. And, you know, they've been awesome to, you know, open the doors, like I said. But um, outside of that, I mean, just piece it together. It's almost like back in like Sandlot days. So um, it's been a lot of fun.